The University of Washington is an institution that's highly involved in cancer research. Back in September, actor Will Farrell came and performed at a UW fundraiser for the scholarship organization Cancer for College. I sat down with UW alum and cancer survivor Abby Hauk, who was able to attend UW on a scholarship from Cancer for College, and we discussed the unique needs that cancer patients and survivors have. Since 1994, the charity organization Cancer for College has awarded $2 million in scholarships to over 1,000 cancer patients and survivors, including UW Huskies like Abby Hauk. Hauk graduated from the UW in 2012 as a communications major and a member of the Gamma Phi Beta sorority. Things have come full circle for Hauk as she now works for the scholarship provider as its Pacific Northwest manager to help provide financial assistance to students in need. I understand that for a lot of cancer patients, college will not be a reality for them. Right. Um, does this have to do with the medical bills? Is that? It does, it does. People don't realize exactly how much that how much chemo, how much any type of uh, surgery or anything actually takes a huge financial toll on, on families and many times they're having to pay out of pocket even though they have insurance. Or as your survivor, we don't realize that a survivor is having to pay for echocardiograms and weird things that you would never have to pay for that aren't covered by insurance. So chemo has been done for five, six, seven years, but you have all these after effects that you're still paying for. So it's a constant financial burden that I think a lot of people kind of look over. This is a need. This is with the uh, increased, you know, rate of cancer survival. We have this group of individuals that are, you know, now in, you know, in need. And what can we do for aftercare? There's a fifth step of, of cancer treatment, and we just don't think about it. I understand that you are a UW Com major. You graduated. I in am. Go dogs. Um, but getting to graduation wasn't the easiest process for you. Um, could you tell me about what it was like as a cancer patient who? you know, wanted to get that four-year degree, what kind of obstacles did you face? Yeah, so I actually was in treatment before I ever reached UW. So luckily I wasn't trying to do them at the same time, even though a lot of our recipients do, and that's a great point, is that our scholarship provides funding for students that are getting treatment six hours of a day and then going to class. Uh, that's a huge part of what we do. I was a lucky one in the sense that I was going through treatment before that. So my experience was a little different, but it did affect me in the sense that I had still cognitive disabilities and learning disabilities from my chemo that did carry along with me into my college experience. And did you always know that you wanted to go to UW? That you wanted I did. To go to college? Oh, I was like, I don't know. I was just born a Husky, which is weird because neither of my parents are. Uh, but every time I would drive to, to Children's, I'm from Sammamish, and uh, you have to you know, drive past the, the stadium and the school. And sometimes if I got out of chemo early, my mom would take me a drive through you know, campus and everything as like a nice, peaceful. And I was always like, I want to go here. And lo and behold, I'm here. So. <laughs> Reporting from the Daily's Double Shot, I'm Starla Simpaco. Make sure to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And also check out dailyuw.com for more original content. Thanks for watching.